Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Have you ever wondered why you can generate so much smoke with hand drill and bow drill and still not get the ember? Well it's because of moisture. The quick answer is water boils at 212 degrees and then it takes about 800 degrees to get a dust pile to ignite. So therefore, if there's any moisture in the set, it's constantly trying to keep that, it's dragging down that 800 degrees until you drive off that moisture. Um, it's gonna keep on trying to cool it down to 212 degrees. So that's why you can make so much smoke and when all the smoke clears, you still don't have an ember. Also, there's uh, humidity in the air. So the air that's trying to feed the ember and ignite the dust pile, if it's saturated with water vapor, it's it's going to have the same effect. So I'll leave a link right here to my um, playlist on drying cycles. Do yourself a favor and learn about drying cycles. That will remedy moisture in a set and when there's high humidity. And I recommend people that's been trying and trying and trying to get like hand drill embers and have never gotten it yet, I recommend that you force dry your set till there's zero moisture left in your set and do like I do. Put your spindle and your fireboard in the back glass of your car in the bright sunshine about three days, even the wettest spindle and fireboard about three days of direct sunlight and it'll be dry enough for you to go ahead and accomplish your first ever ember. So, moisture is the reason that you can make so much smoke and still not get the ember. Let's go ahead and try out this mullen spindle this morning. And we're going to use it on this short leaf pine fireboard. Let me get you closer. I don't know that the humidity can get any higher than what it is this morning. If I don't even have to check to, to know that it's 70 degrees out, but the humidity is 100%. That's the way our mornings are starting out. So let's go ahead and do a burn in. I'm going to try to save the, the dust on that bent leaf.
Let me get behind the camera so I won't miss the shot like I usually do. This set was continues to be to stay in the back glass of the Camry. So there's zero moisture in it. So there's really nothing to brag about when you get a get an ember out of a set with zero moisture in it. But I'm afraid to say that most people on YouTube, that's the way they get their embers. They just don't tell you that they've that they've dried it out that much. I was able to reuse a little bit of that dust, wasn't I? Let's give it a try now. Mullen. This is my second mullen spindle of the year. The first one I just could not make a go because it was so thin walled. But I did use the base part of it. That's that video that I showed you where I used a bottle top. A plastic bottle top and an aluminum can bottle top as a bearing block for mullen and then this is my second mullen and so I was glad to see that it had thick enough walls to to work good for hand drill all right let's get our float on Wasn't really sure about it to that last pass down the spindle. pine needles now they're kept outside so there's still there's plenty of moisture in them so that's why it takes them a while to to flame up Uh, 
I better keep this out of the way until I get the flames. So, even when there's a 100% humidity out like there is this morning, if your set is dry enough, you can overcome all that. Yeah, get, get behind the camera so we can have a good parting shot. We use this one right here. All right, y'all. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.